Ladies and gentlemen, in round 22 this season, Michael Walters played his 150th game for Fremantle, making him eligible for this prestigious honour. Please turn your attention to the screen as we pay homage to fan favourite Michael Sonny Walters. He's still going. De Boer slips it over. And you, for your first goal in league footy, Michael Walters. Always a great moment when you kick your first goal in league football. 18 years of age, comes in for his first game, and I've liked what I've seen so far. He's, he's a see. very clever young man. Straight in, here it is. Check side. Oh, he's kicked the two. Straight through. Duck is in front. And look at Sonny. He's put it. doesn't matter. Because Walters has taken a mark directly in front, 20 metres out, and this will hurt the Hawks. Walters back in the big league. Welcome back, Sun Sun. It's a marvellous return to the big league. He's worked so hard at Swan Districts, and he's loving every minute of it. Very good celebrator, isn't he? Very interesting yeah. celebration. Take me through that one. Happy well, for Walters. Oh! 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 And Walters takes a spectacular mark. I reckon for sure, Walters, he makes no mistake. Lines him up from 50. Strikes it through. Michael Walters wins the game for the Dockers. He makes every post a winner. Yeah. Doesn't get much better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Michael Walters. Sonny was happy to take a back seat in round 22 as he shared his milestone with a farewell game for Aaron Sandlands and Hayden Ballantyne. So we hope that Sonny will forgive us for making a bit of a fuss about him tonight. Drafted to Fremantle from Swans, picked number 58 in the 2008 National Draft and a selection that's turned out to be absolute top value. Of course, the return from Swan Districts in round 16, 2012. Sonny kicked 22 goals from 10 games and it all changed, a turning point for the club as well. Frio had won seven from 14 prior to Sonny's return and eight from 10 when they're back in the team in 2019. He kicked 40 goals to lead the club's goal kicking for the fifth time. But of course, uh, our man here provides much more to Frio than goal kicking prowess at a season, especially more as a midfielder. At the end of the season, rightfully recognised with his first All-Australian jacket. Tonight's life membership announcement only adds to what's been an outstanding career. Put your hands together once again for Michael Walters. Why don't you? This is a big one, mate. There's something very valuable there for you. How does it make you feel? Yes. Oh, it makes me feel proud. I mean, all the hard work that I put in, especially, as you said, when I got sent back to Swan Districts, um, I didn't think that I was ever going to come back and play AFL footy again or, or just any footy, but um, having a tight family that I, that I, that I have, um, you know, they forced me back to play AFL footy, and, um, and I'm here now, which I'm, and I'm loving it. Mate, 261 goals for Frio. You got a most memorable one? Because it's harder after this year, isn't it? Nah, but I've kicked a point, which I really like. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Wasn't bad. But nah, I mean, in terms of goals, nah, I, I, haven't, I don't really um, have a favourite. I just love kicking them, so it's good. Nothing wrong with that. And we're looking forward to next year already. Uh, how about your most memorable moment in your career? There's been a, a lot of highs, mate. Yeah, I guess the time when I did get sent back, my first game um, at um, Etihad um, against Melbourne, round, I think, 16 or 17. Um, you know, as I said, you know, all the adversity that I went through to, to go back to Swan Districts and, and work my butt off to, to get back and play AFL footy, I guess that was, a, that was the main moment that you know, really struck me as a player. Yeah. But uh, that night, I spoke to you after that night when you uh, got to the 150 and, uh, you know, Sandy and Bellas had played their last game. You didn't seem to have any trouble stepping back. What was that about? Just that respect for those guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, everyone knows what they've done for this footy club. Um, Spide's massive, he's got big feet, and Ballas has got little feet, so um, just, you know, just for those guys, what they've, what they've done for this footy club over, over a number of years, I got, I got drafted with Ballas, um, I've, I've enjoyed playing all my footy with him, so um, for me to take the back, you know, the back seat um, that, that night, um, I thought I had to do it, and um, yeah, I mean, it was just more for them. Absolutely, but who would you like to thank? The lectern's yours, but <coughs> Yeah, obviously I'm going to probably miss out on a few people, but um, I really want to thank um, everyone at the Fremantle Footy Club, um, past and present, you know, you know, guys like Ross Lyon who um, gave me the kick in the butt that I needed. Um, you know, Chris Bond also. Um, I've had a lot of meetings with Chris Bond over the time, but um, he was always a good bloke to me, so I'd like to thank them. Um, all the players um, this year, but also 
when I first started as well. They've all had a massive impact on my footy career and um, me as a person and a father, and I would always remember them. I made um, a lot of new friends, and, and there's no doubt that I'm going to make some, some new ones over the, over the next couple of years. Um, I'd love to thank my family, um, my mum and dad in particular, who you know, worked their butt off for me as a, as a young kid. Um, <laughs> as a young kid, you know, you know my mum, you know, I, I love you to bits. Um, I can remember when you used to wake up early mornings and make my porridge. I couldn't, <clears throat> I couldn't go and play footy without, without having porridge, so <clears throat> I'd like to thank you. Uh, my dad, who always gives me feedback, even now, um, <laughs> it's somewhat annoying, but um, you, always, you always take it on board, so thanks, Dad. My brother, Colin, who, you know, who's always there for my support as well, um, and you know, Marnie, my wife, thank you so much. You're, a, you're an unbelievable mother. Um, And you keep me on my toes, which is always good, so thank you very much. Um, if I missed anyone, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm glad to get this police show done with now rather than round five, so <laughs> it's good. Thank you. As we, uh, we're going to present some flowers to Marty. We'll see that on the stage on the screens right now. But Life Membership, Michael Walters, congratulations, mate. Good to see you. All the best. Let's hear it for Sunny one more time. Michael Walters, Life Membership of the Fremantle Football Club, one of our absolute favourites. And thank you, Marty, as well.